enough, George. You just, this is the second time you stopped to talk about what you drank. So, you already passed one bourbon, one shot, one beer. Now you're on second. Now if you go another time and stop and talk about drinking, that'll be three. Uh, slow down, George. Everything litty, I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke out the night. Yeah. George. Thorough good. One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. I need one of each, please. Line it up, George said. Get one for the pretty lady over there. Um, don't know what I'm getting into. So, we're going to jump straight into it. Follow me on everything in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Merchandise in the description as well. Different links. Support. Let's go, George. That's a big thing. Are you with me? show a lot of people some Philly said uh where are you going uh Lonesome George and your man I said we're going over to Jersey to have a ball you know yeah. and they said uh I don't think they can party as good in Jersey as they do in Philly what do you think are you ready to party tonight then I want to tell you a story all about the house man blue You know. She said, um, you get the house money yet? I said, no. She said, you better get the red money by next Friday. The what? The next Friday went, and out the door I went. Good. You are a thorough good guy to me. I was gonna say the n-word. You a thorough good dude, man. You thorough. You thoroughbred. He said, "Hey," she said, "Have that rent money by next Friday." <laughs> and when next Friday hit, out the door. I was, Whoa, that was cold blooded, man. You ain't leave nothing like a couple of dollars, or you just left. George. So go to the lady lady. Oh, it's still you, 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 you let me slide. I got the red boy tomorrow, the next day I don't know. So, so let me slide it on, you know, peoples. I notice when I come home in the evening, she got nothing nice to say to me. What? I'll give me one particular evening. She said, you got the red money yet? I said, no. I can't find no job, I'm gonna get someone to pay this rent. She said, I don't even try to find no job. So all she needed, they were standing on the corner. Okay. Leaning up against a post. I said, but I'm tired. I've been walking all day. She said, that's gonna confront me as long as I get my rent money by next Friday. Oh, what happened? Now you know next Friday coming out, I couldn't get the rent. Thank you. And out the door I went. No real talk. <laughs> He's the real guy. He's not playing. He said, I don't give a crap <laughs> what you think. You need to rent money by next Friday. You know where I went. <laughs> so why didn't you want to give the money up, George? The whole crowd said, I said it would. I said it would. Now you know next Friday coming out, I couldn't get the rent. Thank you. And out the door I went. Cold blood. So go to the little lady. I think you, 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 let me slide. I have the rent for you tomorrow the next day. She hollered about some back rent. <laughs> she ought to get none of it. So go to my room. I'll pack up my John Lee Hooker record collection And out the door I go 
I'll go down the streets, I'll stop down to the uh, Wednesday night jamboree and hootenanny. A Thursday night jamboree and hootenanny. <laughs> Every night in Jersey is a jamboree and hootenanny. <laughs> Me off of cocaine. He's sweating profusely. Why do all these guys back then they sweat so much when they uh they he's not even doing that much moving. He pounding this big giant guitar. I never seen one that big. And he's just talking, having a casual conversation with the fan. Do you guys know what happened? She told me they had a rent by next Friday, and you know what I did? Out the door I went. So I went down to the strip club. I saw a stripper with a nice butt. I gave her a hundred and uh, he just explaining the just he explained it. I, also is this not a song? I thought I was about to listen to a song. This doesn't he's sounding like he's just having a conversation. It's a this kind of no. <laughs> Thursday night jamboree and who man. Who man? Every night in Jersey is a jamboree and who man. I was looking at him, man. Come on down here. We got down there. So what you want? You want the bourbon? You want the stock? You want the beer? Okay, it's wrong. No, I ain't seen my baby since I don't know when. Mr. Bartender, since I set him up again. Wanna get high, you know I got to get loose. Give me a triple shot of that New Jersey juice. When I get drunk, don't you have no fear. I want one bourbon, one stock. switch up at all. Uh, I thought he was going to keep telling that story. I was enjoying it. And he dropped it and said, you know what, guys, let's go. Take it there then, George. Take it there. One bourbon, or one shot, or one beer. That's a lot. You just said you want a triple shot of that Jersey juice. What is that? Chill, uh, George. Are you ready to boogie? Yeah. I want you to put your hands together. Welcome an old friend of mine, the world's baddest boogie guitar player, and a good friend of mine from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Elvin Bad Boy Bishop. Okay, so did you just get off work? What's going on? I I knew he looked like a mechanic, but Jesus, you brought the two. He played with a nine sixteenth on his pinky millimeter. <laughs> this is a is it is it Craftsman or is it you know is it is the name for I don't man. Okay. This different. What does that even do? Like, how does that work? It's the man playing with the bell.
you stop to talk about what you drank so you already passed one bourbon one shot one beer now you're on second now if you go another time and stop and talk about drinking that'd be three uh slow down George that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> Goodness he said what you want this time a one bourbon one scotch one beer Ever since I knocked up on last Mr. Bartender, fill up my glass Give me a drink, you know I ain't have enough Give me an elbow and shot of that Jersey stuff Well, I get drunk, don't you have no fear I want one bourbon, one scotch and a beer One bourbon, one scotch, one beer Elvin Bishop! Pause it in the middle, but I got to copyright me striking like uh, Zeus. Uh, you're doing your thing. I'm going to go a little bit. Time. <laughs> we put it high. 
I bet by this time you're pretty tore up. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> you still at the bar? I looked at my bartender and said, hey, you bet not say it again, man. George, don't do me like that. Another shot? Now, but it's time. <laughs> we put it hot. I bet. We sit at the bar. Just me and the Delaware Destroyer sitting at the bar now. Huh? We sit there with uh, Elvin and the boys. Drinking bourbon, scotch, and Budweiser beer. Okay, that's a good beer. I like that beer. When you say Bud, you said it all? This Bud's for you. I look down a bar. My bartender. So you can't even talk straight no more. Bartender. Sir, you don't need any more. The bartender, I think the bartender about to tell him no. I look down a bar. My bartender. Ooh, I love those low notes. Woo! I look down the bar and say, Mr. Bartender, come on down here. I know the bars in Jersey never close, so. <laughs> he got down the end of the bar. So what you want this time? What you want? I said, what time is it? He said, a clock on the wall said three o'clock. Damn, Last call for alcohol. He said, what you want? Holy smokeries! You put the show on. We get it. You want one bourbon, one shot, one beer. Oh, we know what you want. Bartender, please get my man his order over here. Before it be problem. I don't want any problem. He looks like he can fight. He got a big giant guitar and a leopard printed jacket. You don't mess with guys like that, man. Don't do it. Until next time. <laughs>